Thanks for joining us at the Gilded Planet. Today we're going to talk about some of the tools you'll need to use when you're gilding with loose leaf gold. So first of all, I'm just going to have my loose leaf gold here. This is an Italian Manetti 23 and a half carat, just beautiful stuff. Okay, and it's each leaf is separated by tissue paper. There's 25 in this book. This is our gilder's pad, it's essentially a soft chamois cloth with a little bit of cushioning to it, which allows you to put your leaf onto it and then use the gilder's knife to cut it into separate pieces. This is our gilder's knife, and I have a single knife here with a square edge. Some of them will have rounded edges, or you might have a double-sided uh, cutting area. I just use the single one, basically put in a leaf and just slide it. And then, of course, we have our gilder's tip brush, and these come in various sizes. Essentially, they're one or two hairs thick, as you see here, in a flat, in a flat, brush manner, you'll be able to put it down onto your leaf, pick it up, and then move it to the area that you're going to be gilding. Here's our loose leaf gold, 23.5 carat Ducadin from Minetti in Italy. I'll just take that, and I'm just going to lay it right down on the gilder's pad, right? Okay, now a little bit of wind it's going to move this leaf around but you can pretty easily clean it up and get it flat again just by blowing on it yep and go right in the middle like that okay now take this gilder's knife it's got a this is a single edge with a square tip some of them have rounded uh, some of them are sharper on both sides i just use a single and basically i'll just take it cut it and just move it slightly, right? And I want to get little squares, so I'll just do this. There, there. So now I have my squares. I'll take my gilder's tip brush, and they come in different sizes, essentially a one or two hair thick brush. And I often just put a little bit of Vaseline on the bottom of my hand like that, very lightly, and just tap it. Um, some people will use oils from their skin, but once you've got it just enough, you can go to the piece, pick it up, and then move it right to the object you're gilding. 